Hello everyone, I'm here bringing you another RenPy tutorial. In this one we're going to be discussing animation and transform language or otherwise known as ATL. If you look at the documentation for it, it seems really big and kind of confusing, but we're going to break it down, so don't worry about that. So it's, the first thing I'm going to notice here is that it says ATL can be included as part of three RenPy script statements. So we have a transform statement, which I'm going to make one of now in my custom ATL.RPY file, which is just empty right now. It's going to say, we have to say transform, and then we give it a name. Let's call it bounce, because it's going to bounce. And then optional parameters, we're not going to do that. That's fine. We can we don't need to. And then we're going to do an ATL block. We're going to say X align 0.5, Y align 0.5. So that's true center. Linear 0.5 seconds to Y align 0.0. .0. So that'll say take half a second to go from halfway down the screen to all the way up at the top of the screen. And then 1.0 to go back down to the bot to the center again. And let's create an image for that. But one thing we can say for an image is we can use the ATL block for that as well. So I'm going to create an image based on this Zora arc right here. So I'm going to say image Zoro arc. And it's going to be zorark.png. And it's just going to be, I'm just going to change its size because it's a really big picture. Three hundred by three hundred. No, let's do two hundred by two hundred. So if I say over here, show Zoro arc. And if you want to use a transform, the keyword is at. So at bounce. And let's try running that. See there it bounces. So that was an only a bounce once. Let's do an animation that will do something repeatedly. So I also have here some pins from the world ends with you and I'm going to use those. So I'm going to say image pins. It's going to be pin 02.png for one second. Pin 243.png for one second. These numbers right here are how long to display it before we move on to the next thing. So obviously this isn't going to be a smooth animation of something going on. It's just going to be like a slideshow, but um, uh, you've seen animations going in one of my previous tutorials, so it's not really that big of a stretch. And pin 304.png for one second. Now if I do this, it'll just do it once through. But if I put repeat here, it'll do it mo it'll keep doing it indefinitely as long as the image is displayed. And I'm going to add one more thing here is that you can use a width transition in all these changes here if you want. With dissolve. 0.5 alpha equals true. The reason I'm doing this instead of the 
base dissolve is because I have a partially transparent image and if you try to do that with um, out a background to dissolve into it'll do it on black and it kind of looks not so good so I'm gonna do the alpha equals true for that so then right here I'm gonna say hide Zoroark show pins at true center and then let's see what happens there's my Zorak there's my pins it's you see how the first one dissolved and, and the other ones are just changing and that's it finally you don't have to use you can use just use a regular image and you can change it later on if you want so let's do image absol equals absol mega dot jpg and we're not going to do anything special with that there And then right here, let's hide pins. And then we're going to show absol, but we can add an ATL block here. So that's the third case right here. Scene and show statements with the ATL block. Where you can add parameters to it, basically. So I'm going to say X align 0 0.5, Y align 0 0.6. And there you have it. So those are the three main ways to use ATL. You can also use the similar language when you're making the screen, when you're using the screen language. They're not quite the same, but in many cases they're very interchangeable. Um, so, but you'll be able to um, check out a lot of more interesting things that you can do with this. This documentation page has all sorts of things like you can block to repeat things together, you can do things in parallel, you can do pauses, you can do all sorts of interesting stuff. Um, so really check it out. Um, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it useful, and I hope you have fun with RunPy. Yeah.